this is my lego oscillating fan now as useless as this may be i didn't make this just to cool off myself in fact i don't have the special lego propellers to actually make it really blow air this propeller hasn't been properly tested yet rather the important part is showing the mechanics of how an actual oscillating fan like this works in real life so let's turn this thing on and see it actually properly work as you can see the propeller spins and the fan oscillates and you can kind of see how the mechanics of this work but we'll get into that in a bit this thing actually kind of blows air by the way and i can demonstrate that with a tissue paper as you can see it really blows the thing around which by the way i'm surprised actually works because like i said this isn't really meant to cool someone this is just for demonstrating the mechanical stuff behind an actual oscillating fan so i think this is actually just a bonus this thing even sounds like a real fan check it out Alright, so let's see how this the whole thing actually works. This is actually pretty simple, but, you know, as a beginner in mechanical engineering, like, this stuff is just... The simple stuff is really fascinating to me. Just seeing all the gears work together and do their part, it's really cool. It's really satisfying. So, let's see how it all works. First of all, I do want to mention all of this is done with one motor. There's only one motor here that's controlling the fan itself and the oscillation of the whole thing and it works like that in a real fan as well so let's see how it works we have here a motor that's kind of lying down from the side and then we have flat bevel gears that i bought that converts this rotational motion in the x-axis to the y-axis now i could make the motor facing up instead so i don't have to do this bevel gear stuff but i made the motor facing this way so, so that we could reduce space so yeah, the motor connects here to this axle over here. And you can see it connects to a small gear and a big gear. For now, we're going to be talking about the big gear which connects to the fan itself. So the big gear is connected to, of course, a small gear over here. Which means that this gear will spin faster than its source. And then this small gear is connected to another big gear. This time it's a beveled gear so that... I can change the uh, rotation to the z-axis as you can see here the, the small gears on the side but yeah it's basically the same thing big gear to small gear equals more rotation and you can see this and you can see the mechanics in this work you can see the gear spin now let's go on to the oscillation of the fan. So first we have the actual motor itself and then it's connected to this small gear I was talking about earlier. And this small gear is connected to a big gear so that it actually becomes slower than the motor. Because otherwise the fan oscillation will be going like this and we don't want that. That's going to break. So yeah, we have a small gear to big gear which causes this whole thing, which causes this whole thing to spin slower. Now I could actually use a worm gear just like a real fan does but uh, honestly I didn't think about it at first so yeah. Now the oscillation of the fan is the most fascinating part. This is actually the first thing I ever did. I just made like a bar oscillate and I was so fascinated by it that I made the whole fan instead. So I got this explanation from Jared Owen. You should go check out his video on how an oscillating fan works if you really want to learn. I just... I'm just making this video just because I think it's cool. It's really fascinating to me. But basically what we have here is a four bar mechanism. So ignore everything in the back. Just focus on these four bars. We have here these two long bars and then these two short bars. So this long bar here is usually the pivot. And then this is called a crank. And as you can see, it does this cranking motion. So that's where the motor is usually hooked up to. And you may notice this bar over here actually oscillates. So we already we have that kind of oscillating motion. But the best part comes when you actually don't make the long bar the pivot. Instead, you make this one, this oscillating part, the pivot. 
and now see what happens you can see this crank is spinning over here so you can see this whole thing oscillates back and forth so that's pretty much how it works so yeah you can see it with this fan we have here the four bars so you can see this is pretty much the pivot and then this is another bar and this is the crank over here as you can see and then this bar is what's connecting it to the fan actually this whole thing is the bar i didn't really think about it when i first made this so yeah there's an extra bar over here just for visualization so as you can see we have that four bar mechanism here at the bottom which causes this whole thing to oscillate now isn't that cool look at that now i'm not really the first one to make this in lego there's a video oh, someone made a whole one one scale of a and lego really fan really here it is this thing is super cool you should go check it out there's also this video which is so simple i just can't believe it but there it is the tutorial video so you can make it yourself someone in the comments was even confused by this oscillating mechanism for how simple it is it looks like this gear isn't doing anything but in fact it is you can see the four bar mechanism over here so yeah if you're not aware of how a fan oscillates you might be confused by this just like this guy anyways that's about it for this uh, video i hope you enjoyed and yeah i'll see you in the next one